Actually, the swam, as many of the images and the topics of my work, came just uh, kind of by accident, like something that happened in life, and then um, you start really putting more and more attention to this magnetism, like what kind of images attracts your attention and why. And it happens just very natural that I was sitting on a train from Berlin to Leipzig and a woman was sitting in front of me and, and she, had, she was holding a magazine or a newspaper and I saw the image of this swamp um, in the magazine. It somehow it attracted my attention but in a, not in a typical way. So the, and I think that uh, you know, as most of the artists or creative people uh, you're quite sensitive to these kind of images that are um, kind of like talking or speaking to you. So you less consume, consume them as normal images that you're surrounded by, by them, you know, and, they, and you feel something with them. So I just follow my intuition and I just, um, I took this newspaper and I, I started uh, researching a bit about this place and then I discovered uh, that this was just like kind of a, a top, 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 you know, like kind of the, the, the top of the mountain the the ice iceberg and then in the deeper you go like an amazing world got open to me i discovered quite a strange place it was around about nearly 10 years ago now from now and it was a, a simple bog swamp you know a place which is which normally functions by the rules of how bog and those kind of spaces you know function that they produce their own you know, life by themselves and they're able to to disconnect themselves from the rest of, you know, the landscape. It, it felt for me like a, the perfect uh, um, visual representation of something that was not fully integrated in the sub, you know, subconscious field. And you have the possibility to encounter this on this level, like uh, on a visual level. So it felt for me like a classical unintegrated part the word Gardi, which consists out of like six different um, uh, video uh, screens, what you actually see is like six different landscapes. And these for me are like mental landscape that creates kind of a panoramic drawing. And, and when you come to the space, you can see kind of a one horizontal line that divides the whole thing into up and down. And the lower part feels, for me metaphorically function as the subconscious part and something that um, you don't see compared to the upper part of the drawing, which also technically was very, very different. This became actually the method of my, my drawing. What does it mean to, to approach a drawing but at, from five different perspectives at the same time? To activate your intuitive part, your analytical part, the part that participate, but the part that contemplate, the part that is in, the part that is out at the same time. So you create kind of a broken uh, language and you use also kind of like, you know, sometimes elements that you can recognize. So the viewer feels very comfortable to, to recognize them. Oh, you recognize a tree, you recognize. But immediately this is just like the, the entrance. And the more that you come in, you say, what's going on? Something feels like not synchronized. So, so parts of the same body are not fully synchronized. If like there are like inner, if there are inner spaces within the structure, the, stru the structure still functions, but in a different way. And, and this, I would say, became like the, the, the main philosophical structure behind Gardi works and behind many of my films. Uh, how to create a space that while you contemplate, you feel part you are in and out at the same time. It's, um, you know, every time that I start a new work, it's like, um, you don't know what to do. You just have like, okay, the next you start and then, so I always try to hold in what I know. So I bring kind of an image from the previous work. And so I took the swamp and one of the main uh, screenshots from Guardian, I said, okay, we start with this, but we go one step further. So we, we disconnect even the swamp from Germany, we disconnect the swamp from whatever, and it becomes kind of a metaphysical swamp that comes from up down and a swamp that can really, really turns and into, and um, so, 
the, the, the whole uh, film of Vortex starts with the, with the bubble, like there is kind of a zoom in into Gardi films, and the zoom in, like very, very intense zoom in that takes you even to more abstract, you know, that this, this pulsing of the, of the Gardi balls becomes like a huge, you know, 10 to 6 meter screen uh, balls in, in vortex of separation and function as the beginning of the other films and take you to an much further. always like two very important principles for me which is like working on the vertical line and at the same time on the horizontal line it, um, it felt like that the horizontal it's more you know what is happening here what I can see from my right and you know and from my left side and it's you know the radius of what I can perceive is connected to the radius of my awareness and how much you know comes into my radar you know and, and the vertical is something very, very different. Um, it's more like, you know, you know of course, uh, going down uh, to underground um, spaces, uh, which is also, you know, like kind of an elevator of consciousness that can take you down to your dreams area, to, your, to all the areas that you cannot really control, when you cannot control and what is happening there and very, very authentic information which is there and that crosses the, what you can fully control here and going into more transcendental spaces, I would say. And, and this going up and down um, is a kind of, it's not only a vertical line, it's something that for me uh, keeps the principle of the um, you know, movement and a very, very flexible, like it's kind of a small bubble that constantly moves within the sculpture, within the drawings and keeps the space open. And, and I think the films try to correspond with this place. That, uh, um, and, and this is one thing. And the other thing is this endless, um, like you diving and, and there is never like a final station that you would say, okay, now I got the point. So you dive in and it's more, and you dive in and it's more, and you dive in and then you want to come back and it feels already like totally not connected anymore and you continue. So I think that this is also something that inspires me the most, that the more I, that you dive in into the film, is not necessarily that, ah, okay, it's end, and now it's, now it's over, and we come back to reality. You come back different. <laughs>